What's up, everybody? This is Dal Stone here, and today I'm just going to quickly go over uh, Maya LT uh, to ZBrush and ZBrush back to Maya uh, FBX import and export settings. Um, and a very common uh, issue that a lot of people get into and how to fix that problem. So here I just have a quick scene that I've created with just a bunch of low poly uh, meshes uh, that I want to put into ZBrush, right? So I'm just going to export these out. I literally just created, you know, cube. Uh, sphere and cylinder so I'm just gonna select the group so I put it into uh, into a group called low uh, I'm just gonna export the selection out as uh, an FBX uh, here are the settings in Maya nothing too fancy it's just pretty typical um, settings okay so now we go into ZBrush and uh, we're going to use the Z plugin uh, FBX export import and we're going to import and we're going to import that shape uh, and then we're going to drag this out onto the scene go to edit mode let's go to uh, matte pearl or matte cap white so make it easier to see so here you go so you see everything uh, the way that you would expect to see it now i'm just going to quickly go in and i'm going to uh, do some subdividing on these right just to kind of show you um that i have changed a few things right just going to add in a few subdivisions these oh sorry i actually don't know fine uh, one last one i do I'll divide here there cool so subdivide it we've done our sculpting let's let's pretend right um, typically what most people would, would do right away is they would just go back, uh, go to their FBX, uh, export import, go to all or visible, right? If they want to, if they have a bunch of uh, different sub tools and then, uh, smooth normals is on, uh, Maya Y up if you're using Maya, um, and then you just export, right? And then you export this as like the high, let's say. Cool, and then you go into Maya, and then you go import, and you go high. You import it, and you're like, uh, what's going on here? Why, why, why are, why are my things? You know, like how come this, like this is not what I was expecting, right? Um, and that's usually so. There's two things that could happen. Sometimes you'll get absolutely nothing. You, you, you import and you're like, I nothing happened, right? Um, sometimes you'll get this, right? Where it's just like all jumbled up. Nothing makes sense. This was not how things were. So I'm just going to go to a new scene. I'm going to re-import the small or the low, sorry, like that. So the problem, why this happened is because of the naming conventions okay everything is still named the exact same so when my zbrush is importing into maya and things are named exactly the same it gets confused and it just craps out right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to change this to high you just go in rename so you can do two different ways to do this you can rename uh your your file in maya or since you're already in ZBrush, you might as well just rename this, right? So I'm going to go back, do this properly. All uh, bin or ASCII doesn't really matter. I'm going to export, export high here. Now, import this. Hi. There you go. Okay. So and then I'm just going to so you move this out of the way. You can see that it has been imported in correctly. Obviously for um, organization, I would put this into groups and then I would just call this high. And then that way you don't run into that problem. And then this way you have, um, when it comes to baking stuff, you already kind of have your high and your lows and uh, you can bake things and there shouldn't be any problems. So if you guys liked that, if you guys found the video helpful, make sure you guys give it a like, uh, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.